Still by our games, and I'm here today for another round of Rolling Realms. Now, before I get started, I wanted to show you the three new promo realms that we announced today for April Fools. We have our first realm that isn't based on a game at all, and that is a Biddy and Walter themed realm based on my cats. There is a mini golf themed realm that's based on the mini golf solo game found in Rolling Realms, although this realm is not solo. And then last, we have a realm based on the Isle of Cats. Big thanks to Frank West for giving us permission to make this realm and helping to, to design it. These realms are on our web store right now. They're shipping right away. And so in two weeks, that's when I'll do my teach and play session of these realms. A few of them are a little bit more complex than some other realms, so we'll, we'll stumble through them together. But once you know them, uh, they're a lot of fun to play. So today, what are we playing with today? I, uh, I think I shuffled up all my cards the other day, so I need to look up the, the realms that we're playing. We're playing with Terra Mystica, Scythe, and Charterstone. Okay, Scythe, Charterstone, where's Terra Mystica? There we go. Terra Mystica, Scythe, and Charterstone. Alrighty, I see Jonathan's joining me today. Thank you, Jonathan, for playing along. And I need to get my setup ready here. So let me point the camera down at my desk and I will get this set up so I can play along with you here. Chad says he's been on a business trip, so he missed the live stream. I hope that business trip is going well for you, Chad. Let me turn this down a little bit. There we go. That should be good enough. Terra Mystica, Scythe, and Charterstone. Okay. There we go. Let's get this on camera. Let's jump right in. Okay. A six and a three. A six and a three. Terra Mystica is a precarious realm where you really need some twos and sixes early on to be really successful there. And I like sixes in Charterstone too, unfortunately. But let's go for that six in Terra Mystica. I wish I had a two. Two is definitely the best roll for first turn on Terra Mystica. And then the three. Hmm. The three would result in me putting a six in a crate on Charterstone, which isn't really what I want to do, if I can help it. So, hmm, I'll go with a three inside. I don't love that either, but that's okay. All right, turn two. We have a three and a four, three and a four. I'm gonna miss out on this little pumpkin from the two. Hopefully I'll get a two on my next roll. What can we do with a three and a four? Again, not a great roll for Terra Mystica, which is unfortunately. You, you really can't miss any turns in Terra Mystica if you want to complete it. You need, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You need all nine. And so I guess, I guess I'll use the three in Terra Mystica just to see if there's hope. I don't really gain much from that. But it gives me some options. And then the four, let's go ahead and put the four in Charterstone. So I'll put that four there, put the three in the crate, and gain a heart. Looks good so far. Okay, turn three. So at the beginning of turn three, I gain a heart. That might be in, come in use. And I have a pair of fours now and two hearts. So I rolled a pair of fours. Let's see if we can do something with that. Again, not great in Terra Mystica. But maybe I can get a pumpkin and change. Nope, can't get a pumpkin. Okay, there's no pumpkin. So we have a pair of fours and not a lot that we can do with it. Yeah, I heard he used the four in Charter Stone. In fact, yeah, so I'm going to use a four in Scythe to get a coin. And maybe I can do something with that coin. In fact, yeah, I can do something with that coin. I can put that coin... Although I'm getting a coin to get a pumpkin to get to double fours, and I can't really use the four. So I don't know if there's much use in doing that. What I could do is continue to progress on Terra Mystica if I wanted. And that might be the best move here. So this is, we can barely call it progression, but I will use that one from the coin here. And I can't do anything with the four because I've already done something in Charter Stone. So I get a free resource. So that's not bad. I'll get another coin for not being able to use that for. Corel, the lead developer, designer of many realms, just popped in to say, no time to play along, but popping in to say hi on this exciting release day. Good luck with this round. Thank you, Corel, for popping in. I know it's late where you are, but I appreciate you coming in to say hi. 
Chad says, looks like some fun April Fool's products. I was looking how to buy the Expeditions cat card you had in the email update, but I think that card comes in Expeditions. It does, it does. Sorry, I should have clarified that. That is indeed a card that's in Expeditions that you'll get with your copy of Expeditions. A pair of ones. It did kind of look like a promo card the way I put it in the e-newsletter. Pair of ones. Our unlucky streak continues for Terra Mystica, unfortunately. Gonna miss out on another pumpkin. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. I think I might just need to, well, yeah, I, I don't know what to do with Terra Mystica right now, other than maybe stop caring about it so much, maybe. Um, I can certainly use a one in Charter Stone. There's a pumpkin. I can use a one in Scythe. In fact, I can get a star out of it too, which I definitely need in Scythe by using a heart, gain a coin. And now, do I dare use a two in Terra Mystica? You know, I do dare. I will use a coin and two pumpkins to gain a two to gain that building. At the beginning of turn five, I gain another heart. There we go. And we'll roll to see what we have. Chad says, looking forward to the cat shirt. Oh yeah, I'm wearing the April Fool's cat shirt here. It's a really nice shirt. I like the color that Joe picked out. I thought it might be too dark, but uh, in person, it's, a, it's just a really nice color. And it's, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice green. It's a green that I don't see very often. A six and a two here. Six and a two on turn five, I believe, if I've been counting along correctly. So again, for Terra Mystica, I, I can kind of do something with the two, but I really need a five at this point. So if there's any way for me to get two pumpkins, I would gladly take that. Unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna work out because I can get, I can use the six over here to get a pumpkin. Use the six over here, two, two. Well, let's see, if I get a two here, I'd rather put the two down in Charter Stone. This is a six there, put a two. Gain a coin. I now need to place a two. I don't love placing it here in Scythe though, because and I spent all last turn creating the two. Now I don't really need it. Uh, Garrett says that he can't wait to get his cat shirt as well. So I could put the two inside and get a heart out of it, but I don't have a pumpkin for the bottom row and I'm running out of time on side. So I wonder if I should just jump. Yeah, let me do this with side. Why don't I just jump down here and gain the star with that two. It leaves me short on Terra Mystica again, but that seems to be the story of this game. So I will use the two right here and spend a coin just to get a star from Scythe. Okay, turn three. Turn, not turn three, I wish it was turn three. Turn six, a pair of threes. A lot of pairs in this game. It's too bad we aren't playing with Euphoria. Pair of threes. I, I like the threes in Charter Stone. I could use a three over here in Scythe. Let's go with the Charter Stone three. Um, in Scythe, I could skip the top row, go right to the bottom row. I, I will probably do that. The three does something in Terra Mystica, and it is turn six, so I get a pumpkin out of the Terra Mystica income. Um, you know, let's let's use these pairs while I have them. So I will use a three in Scythe to get another star. It just costs a heart. And then I will copy the three and put it in Terra Mystica right there. How's everything looking, Jonathan? You doing okay so far? You know, Jonathan's playing along live. Beginning of turn seven, I get another heart. So I have one of each resource right now. A six and a two. Still have not rolled a five, the most important number when you're playing Terra Mystica. Um, but maybe I can get a pumpkin to turn that six into a five. Six and a two. I can get a pumpkin over here in Charter Stone. I could, uh, I need to save that two. Or I could go for Scythe. I can also just go for Scythe and get those stars. Hmm. What to do? Well, I can't do, if I use the two in Scythe, 
I can't use the six. So I don't see a point in doing that. So instead, let's use the six. I'll, I'll use the two over here in Charter Stone. I'll write down the six in this crazy box of crates down below that won't amount to much. Get that pumpkin. I will turn the six into a five, finally, and put it, I don't know if there's a really advantage. Actually, no, I can't. I can connect my settlement. So there's two stars right there from Terra Mystica. That's a five. And I have a one remaining. I could use, no, if I had a pumpkin, I could do it in size, but I don't have a pumpkin. So I'll fall short there. <laughs> Jonathan's struggling with me. Thank you for struggling along with me, Jonathan. And we're playing some easier realms here. Maybe not charter. Oh, actually, no. Scythe is an easier realm. Another six and a two. <laughs> Normally, I'd love to get sixes, but not this game. I need fives. Um, that's okay. We'll, we'll work with what we have. So the six could go down here in scythe. I could also do the two but I need to get a pumpkin. Either way, I need to get, get a pumpkin. Actually, no, I can get it. Uh, this is turn eight, so I'm getting a pumpkin for free. There we go, so I have the pumpkin. Let's go with a two in scythe to gain a pumpkin, or to gain a, a heart, spend a pumpkin, and gain a star. That was the two. The six I will use in Charter Stone to simply get one star. So I'm kind of hoping for this last roll. I would love to get a five and a three. I think that's my best bet. Yeah, five and a three. Uh, final turn, turn nine, get an income of a heart. Here we go, five and a three. Show me a five and a three. There's the, whoa, <laughs> we actually got a five. You saw that, right? Five and a three, can you see it? I actually rolled a five and a three. All right, Jonathan, now we're, now we're in business here. Um, five in Terra Mystica. So that's all the points for Terra Mystica. I've connected the settlements. I got those. I have two fives, so that's going to be four stars in Terra Mystica. The three will be two stars in Charter Stone. Actually, I, I wish I could do... The five, could I do that? No, I don't have enough pumpkins to do that, but five and a three here and then use those threes, but that's just two stars in Charter Stone. And can I get anything else out of Scythe? I don't think so. I mean, I could copy, maybe I can actually, I can copy here, I'll use three hearts to copy the five and spend my one remaining coin to get another star. I can get another one, there we go. And I got a heart out of it. So my final score today is a 12.1 let me know uh let me know if you are following along jonathan let me know your final score and uh chad and jonathan witnessed it they saw the five and the three that doesn't happen very often where i want the exact numbers a little too little too late but you know that that was that was an ideal round or ideal role for the last round Hopefully Jonathan got some stars out of it as well. And hopefully you, whenever you decide to play along with me, let me know what you score in the, comment, in the comments below. And remind me that I got a 12.1 so I can compare that against your score and congratulate you, hopefully, for getting a better score than my 12.1. Jonathan got 11.3. Totally respectable for this combination and these dice rolls. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for... What are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow will be... Tomorrow we're doing Arc Nova, Viticulture... And Euphoria, here we go. Arc Nova, Viticulture, and Euphoria. We'll do those three realms tomorrow. I'm, I'm holding those up to thin air, aren't I? There we go. <laughs> there we go. We'll do those tomorrow. All right. I'll see you then. Hope you all have a great night. Take care. Bye.